Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Now it's time to look at logical puzzles. And there are two different methods of logical puzzles the fill in method and the crosshatch method. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the fill in method. So, first of all, what, will what are logical puzzle questions? Here, you'll be presented with information in the form of tables, text, or many other graphics. You'll be asked to take either one or several steps to infer how the puzzle can be solved. Example 1. Two tibs with red and blue bibs were playing for a four-a-side football match. The winning team was made up of the players Aaron, Shibham, Adrian and Sergio. All four of them were wearing different coloured boots and different coloured socks. One of them was wearing red boots, another yellow boots, another green boots and another blue boots. One of them was wearing red socks, another one blue socks, another one green socks and one of them yellow socks. Adrian wore yellow boots, Shivam wore green socks and Sergio wore yellow socks. The person wearing red socks wore blue boots. The person wearing yellow socks did not wear red boots. Which of the following must be true? Now, we're going to use the fill-in method for these questions, as mentioned before. The first thing you should do is create this table shown here. One column with a player, one column with socks, and one column with boots. And put in the information that you already know. We know that there is information given about Adrian, Shivan, and Sergio. So we put these three names in the first column. And then we go through each segment one by one. We know Adrian wore yellow boots. So in the first column, we can put yellow boots there. Then we know Shivan wore green socks and Sergio wore yellow socks. Now again, more information is being filled up. The person wearing red socks wore blue boots. Now that has to be a, a different person to the three already because we know that we know that um, the person wearing red socks has to be wearing blue boots. Therefore, it is likely that this person is Aaron. But we don't need to know this information for sure right now. The next statement is that the person wearing yellow socks did not wear red boots. Now, this means that Sergio did not wear red boots because we know that he wore yellow socks. Now let's look at each of the statements. Option A, Adrian wore red socks. No, this can't be true because the person wearing red socks wore blue boots as mentioned before. So we can rule out A. B, Sergio wore yellow boots. No, we know that, that Sergio did not wear yellow boots because Adrian wore yellow boots. C. Shivam did not wear blue boots. Now, this is definitely correct. Now, I'll tell you why. The person wearing red socks wore blue boots. Shivam is wearing green socks, therefore he cannot be the person wearing blue boots. C is therefore definitely correct. And let's verify with D. D. Sergio wore red boots is wrong because we know that the person wearing yellow socks did not wear red boots. Sergio is the person who is wearing yellow socks. This is therefore false. Sometimes it's difficult to know whether to use the crosshatch method or the fill-in method. For this sort of question, either is appropriate. So now we're going to look at the second method to use the same question, which is the crosshatch method. Here I've shortened it down and put all the information that you need. Now if you see carefully, there are three columns of information. You've got the names, You've got the shoes and you've got the socks. It may look very um, unique as a table, but if you look closely, it will make sense to you. This is a crosshatch table. So I filled in the fact that Adrian has yellow shoes in the first column. Shivam has green socks in the second column. Sergio has yellow socks in the third column. And then I've used the information that the person wearing red socks wore blue boots by using the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth row, and I'm using the seventh row to display that the person wearing yellow socks did not wear red boots. Now, if I look at each statement individually, Adrian wore red socks, and um, I can verify that that is false because the person wearing red socks wore blue boots, Adrian wore yellow boots. B, Sergio wore yellow boots is wrong because I know no, Adrian wore yellow boots. D. I know Sergio wore yellow socks and the person wearing yellow socks did not wear red boots. Do you see how I can gain this information just by looking at the crosshatch table? C is therefore the correct answer. Now, I did rush this slightly more because we'd already gone over the question, but have a look at the filling method and the crosshatch method. Find out which one suits you more.
It could be either or either one of those could, could have been used in this example. Next, in the next video, we're going to look at a second example using both methods again. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.